going on YouTube welcome back to your clothing guide the Hoxton trend peeps right guys in this video what I'm gonna be doing is a monthly designer collection video because as per usual I've had tons of stuff in for the past three weeks I've been super busy if you've been following me on Facebook you would know exactly what happened but I've just been mad crazy busy but I'm back into it and we're gonna be doing way more videos for you guys so make sure you stay tuned for it okay just remember if you're liking these videos don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share it really helps and don't forget to trick that algorithm and make people think that people actually like these videos go ahead and drop a comment on the comments box below and leave a message and I will make sure to respond to as many people as possible okay also remember guys if you ever need help with anything any questions or anything like that you can always jump onto our Facebook group community where we got 9.1 thousand members in there all helping each other out it's a big community you can buy sell connect with people ask questions all the good stuff okay but let's get into this monthly designer collection video Whew. Because I've got lots of stuff in it and I can't wait to share and show it with you guys, okay? Two seconds. Oof. Right, so starting off with my first piece, which I've actually had for a, quite some time now. I just haven't worn this jacket at all because I just haven't, but I should be wearing it. Now, I was actually going to go ahead and sell it not too long ago, but I thought, you know what? I kind of looked at it and I thought I really do like it, so I am going to end up keeping this one. But this is the Montclair Duvoir. Duvoir? Let me just check that because I always get the I always get the pronunciation wrong on these things. Duvoir. Duvoir? Something like that. Who knows? It begins with a D, ends with an X. That's all I know. But yeah, this is the Montclair Duvoir. I think it was £1,095 in retail. Now, I've actually had this jacket before. I had it in a blue with like a red um, big badge. That was a really nice jacket, but I think the blue was just a little bit too loud for me. So I went ahead and sold that. Then I managed to get this one here, brand new with the tags and everything in black. And it's a little bit more key. So I'm really Really, really kind of feeling this one it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Montclair Mar just without the hood obviously it's got the bigger um, logo which I, I am actually quite liking nowadays I remember when I first saw this I wasn't really feeling this too much but I really do like it down in insulation on the inside unfortunately this jacket is not water resistant it's not even water repellent which means if, you, if it starts to rain eventually you will still get, you'll get little watermarks on the jacket which can be quite annoying and it's one of those annoying things about Montclair if I'm to be perfectly honest with you okay one of the things I'm going to show you is it's also got a you know like when you have a backpack and you put the jacket like that it's meant to be like if you're skiing it's getting too hot or whatever you can literally throw the jacket off and just have it on your shoulders like that if you're feeling too hot now this is actually a size 4 um, large so I'm, I'm feeling like this is kind of my size so that's the first one is the Montclair DeVoe 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 something like that right so the next jacket I wanted to show you is this Stone Island wool blazer jacket from Stone Island. Now this is quite a rare jacket. It's called the Pano Special Jacket or Special Jacket. It is super nice. It, it actually just kind of reminds me of old school Stone Island, if I'm to be honest with you. It's got that kind of real old school type of touch. And then what I love as well is obviously the detail there. You've got a little bit of detail going all throughout the collar, which is really nice. And it makes it a really kind of special and unique jacket. And I'm pretty fortunate to be able to have one. So yeah, this is really quite a nice, uh, piece there from Stone Island. Um, inside is looking all nice and it's made from 100% um, wool. Yeah, pretty dope. This is actually a size extra large. Funny enough, this one is fitting me pretty well. So yeah, I think this one is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Right, let's move on to the next one. So the next jacket I've got in is a Canada Goose non-fur edition blue parka jacket. Now a lot of people are buying Canada Goose this time of year because obviously it's super cold and Canada Goose gets really, really popular. So um, I've got this Canada Goose ch um, Chateau. Chateau, Chateau, yeah, that's the one. Um, basically in Selfridges and a lot of different stores that don't promote fur, Canada Goose have made them the non-fur version. The Chateau would usually have fur and you'd usually have a zip that could take it off, but this one doesn't even have the zip bit, so you can't even attach a fur onto this. It's just doesn't take fur at all. The inside is all down insulated and it's one of Canada Goose's most popular jackets. Definitely one that I'd recommend. Usually with the Parkers, they just tend to go just past the waist a little bit, a little bit longer than the Macmillan, a little bit longer than the Maitland as well, and also the Windham. So the Langford, the Emery, the Chateau, they tend to go a little bit longer and I actually kind of like that. I, I, I think I actually prefer that. I think it's quite nice. The outside material uses something called Arctic te technology, specifically used by Canada Goose and that renders the jacket water resistant, wind resistant as well. These jackets also allow the air to kind of circulate on the inside and that kind of helps to keep you warm. So these are really, really made for like extreme temperatures. Now you can use them like running around in the city, but just bear in mind, you just gotta be careful because these can get pretty hot 
pretty quick, okay? Now, just to mention also that Canada Goose prices, they go up every single year, so pricing is getting more and more expensive. Their jackets are really starting to creep more towards the £1,000 mark. I think the jackets are quite expensive. Yes, I still do think they're worth the investment because they tend to hold their value pretty well. The second-hand market for Stone Up for Canada Goose is holding up really, really well as well. So if, if I bought this for, like, let's say, 800 next year, if you kept all the bags and all the receipts and looked after it and make sure you dry clean it and store it well, you probably set fetch like 650 for this jacket, so that's 350 in a year. I would say even if you kept it for two to three years and made sure you kept the condition really well, make sure there's no fading throughout the jacket, wash it correctly, store it correctly during the um, warmer seasons, make sure it's in like a bag or some type of suit bag. I reckon after three years, you could probably sell this jacket for like five, 600, even after three years. That's, that's a good investment in my opinion. And then you can get 600 and add a little bit more and get a brand new jacket after that. It also comes with a lifetime warranty. So make sure that you keep all your purchase receipts and all that stuff. But in saying that, the warranty comes with the jacket. It doesn't necessarily stay with the person that's bought the jacket. It always stays with the jacket, okay? Next one. Right, sticking on with the Canada Goose theme is I've got this um, Canada Goose Vernon jacket. Now, if you remember last time I actually had the silver one of this jacket, I actually went ahead and sold that just the other day and I've got this one here in black, which I think I actually prefer it in black, which is quite nice. I was actually thinking about keeping this one, I wasn't too sure, but now I think I'm actually gonna sell it because I've decided to keep my Mon uh, Montclair Duveau and I, I don't wanna have too many, um, I'm trying to conserve space basically. I'm not, I don't want too many jackets at the moment, so it's, I'm trying to get actually get rid of stuff as, as, as we speak. This is an AW20 jacket, so it's a current season's jacket. Um, it's really nice, it's water repellent as well. It's really nice, feels really good, very, very puffy. It's also black label edition, which means that the inside got this kind of special black material. I actually need to find out more. I actually need to find out more about the black label edition, but what I do know is the inside has always got this kind of black material on the inside, which I'm not sure what that is. And it's always got the darker shade of the badge, which I think is quite nice and quite a nice touch. But yeah, this retails at 895. Is it 895 or 850, which is very, very expensive. I, I wouldn't opt for this over the Parker if I was gonna get it brand new. I would actually go for the Parker because I think the Parker has a more robust material than this one. The material is nice on this, but um, I feel like it's not gonna be as water resistant as the actual um, Canada Goose uh, Parkers with the Arctic Tech, like I just showed you on the on the um, Canada Goose um, Chateau jacket. The material on that, I think, is more better built for um, winter and like kind of harsh weather conditions. Where I feel this one is a little bit more of a city jacket. It is gonna keep you warm, but it's probably a bit more practical for the city to run around X, Y, Z. And another thing that I like about this is it also has the same thing as the um, Montclair. It's got a throwback strap, so you can literally just throw the jacket back. There you go. You can literally just throw the jacket back and it just hangs off your back like that. If you're feeling too, too hot, you just flick it off. And then once you're all good and you've kind of cooled down, you just flick your arms back in and, well, it's meant to be smoother than that. But yeah, you flick your arms back in and you're kind of good to go and set all again. Yeah, you don't want to be looking as awkward as this when you're trying it though. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Oof, that was a struggle. That's just made me feel proper hot now, but yeah. That's it, that's the Vernon guys. Proper nice one, this one. Right, let's move on to the next one. Right, this one is something a bit special. This is a ghost tank shield jacket, which is super nice. Now, a lot of people are not gonna be sure about white. I'm not particularly sure about white myself, but I do think this one is absolutely really, really nice. Obviously, you've got the tank shield there with the ghost badge. It's quite a rare jacket, this one. You won't see too much of this one around. On the inside, you've got a nice removable vest. Um, Best gilet there with some Dutch rope that will keep it all attached together. So it's nice to see a little bit of Dutch rope. That's the old school way of Stone Island attaching um, the vest onto the jacket. So, so you can just wear this as a shell as well. The shell on the inside is also down insulated, so it is it is quite a warm jacket. But this jacket should be, yeah, it's got tape seam, so it's being a tank shield, it's a hundred percent waterproof as well. So it's a pretty special piece, this one. Not many of these around, so yeah. 
very 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 lucky to get this one and I'm, I'm kind of chuffed on this one I guess right so here we go I've got this monster piece in right here it's David TC with primal loft insulation and wall this is an absolute mega monster jacket it is a uh, David TC material so it is quite robust and quite thick this is actually in the charcoal color but to be honest with you winter wise warm wise this is a this is a monster jacket it's extremely warm the outside construction is very durable but what I love is when you open it up it's actually real down insulation inside the jacket so this is mad warm it's proper puffy the retail on this is 1095 so it's a pretty serious jacket but then on top of that you've got the stone island on the rim there which is quite nice this one is actually a size XL funny enough which is fitting me quite well I did have a pink lavender one which I actually went ahead and sold but it's still right here so that's going to get shipped off at the end of the month but that's it right here and this color is pretty unique it's pretty rare don't really see many of these running around in lavender so the lavender one right there look at that that is stunning man absolutely lovely beautiful jacket this one there is a badge on it somewhere I just need to find it but yeah this is a this is a real stunner of a jacket to be honest very very nice very very nice indeed and that is the stone island going all the way around the hood giving it some of that old school flavor, yeah? So the next jacket is a David TC bomber jacket, which you can see here. David TC uh, padded bomber jacket, very, very nice piece. This is actually a Shadow Projects piece as well. So you've got the Shadow Projects badge, which you can see on the side there. Super nice, very, very warm, but you can see there's got some of distress in or like the, 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 the way they've dyed it, it looks a little bit distressed. So it's almost, it almost looks a bit like concrete, if, if, if you get what I'm saying, but this is a really, really nice piece. So this would be, kind of great for more like autumn or kind of like the end like the beginning of spring as well when it's still a little bit cold this is like a nice low-key um, padded bomber jacket with the shadow projects badge right there but yeah this is actually extra large and it's actually fitting me um, fitting me quite well but yeah this is a nice jacket right so the next piece that I've got in is this cotton velvet reverse lamy flock a uh, schmuck style jacket. This one is, I think this jacket is absolutely crazy. Now it might not be for everyone's taste. Not everyone might feel this one. It almost re reminds me of the Quantum Pertex Y jacket, except the Quantum Pertex had like a Y zip getting all the way across where this one literally has to go over your head like a like a kind of like a hoodie I guess but it's super warm you've got this nice kind of velvet material on the outside got some really nice material here which almost reminds me of a mem membrana um, real TC material but I'm not quite sure that it is um, we've got two side pockets there which are quite far back on the side right on the side and we've got some kangaroo pockets right here so you can put all your bits and bobs in your beers when you're trying to smuggle them in and out of a pub because of lockdown or whatever this one is proper nice this one is a size m and it retails for 800 this one but yeah super super nice jacket very rare and exclusive yeah pretty dope piece this one right so the next piece i've actually got on is the um 30th anniversary 30th anniversary about i think it's 10 year i think it's the 10 year anniversary uh polyhide 2l windproof water resistant breathable 2l fabric bomber jacket <laughs> now this jacket is it's, it's actually a bit of a collector's this one it's a very special b piece as far as i'm aware it represents the 10 year anniversary of the collaboration between acronym and stone island which is the shadow project now ironically enough this one didn't come with the shadow projects bag so i actually got this one for a little bit of a crazy price got a few shadow projects badges but they, they're obviously with the other items so i can swap them around but i might go on our facebook group and see if i can get someone to sell me one or donate one or whatever it is that goes on on there but yeah check out the back super nice man honestly um, on there it says like 10 for the 10 year anniversary and this is a size m it's just unfortunate it's a little bit too small for me so i might have to end up selling this but i will see if I can just maybe not eat for like three months and drop the weight so I can fit into it because I absolutely love it. Complete stunner of a jacket this one. Super, super nice. Um, just wish it was my size. Just wish that I had the Shadow Projects, but it's all good. I'm sure I could sort something out, right? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Right, moving on to the last jacket of the day is this Montclair bomber jacket. This is actually the Montclair Bradford bomber jacket now this is basically more or less brand new in mint condition very nice jacket I've got the tags 
in here. New ad tags, got tags in there somewhere. And also have the Montclair box with this one. Super nice jacket, varsity style um, bomber jacket in a size uh, four, I think it is. Is it size four? I think it's size four, yeah. Got that varsity collar, so it reminds me of that kind of American style um, varsity jacket, which is really cool. And obviously the down insulation on it is, is, is nice as well, so it is keeping me warm. But like most of the Montclair jackets like, that come like this, it's not water resistant, it's not water repellent. So if you're gonna be out in the rain, it's gonna rain on, on you, you might get some little water marks, which could get on your nerve because you have to end up dry cleaning it just to remove it. So that can be a bit of a problem sometimes. But in saying that, it is a very stylish jacket nonetheless. Guys, so listen, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, we've got some videos coming up. We've got some videos with Nike and a couple of other brands to so stay tuned for those. We're going to be doing like a Nike haul where Nike are going to send us all this exclusive stuff to review for you guys. That's a wicked partnership that's coming up. Hoxontrend.com. So if you're looking to go out and look for some pieces or look for like new items or get some inspiration, but you want to shop at shop safe places, you can use our website, which will basically help you shop lots of different places all in one place. Place, saving you time and hopefully saving you money as well okay guys I'm out of here lots more coming stay tuned for it peace out